Hey, it's Coolio if you don't know, and it is time for some more of the long run where we are playing The Longest Journey. Last time we did a bunch of stuff that ended up that uh ended up putting us on this boat that um it's gonna take us to a place. How exciting. Also, it it was the nineties and there was time for Plax. Plax is gone now. He's dead now. We don't need to worry. Why does the horizon have to keep rolling back and forth like that? Also, as we were ending the last video, April horked. Uh, we didn't see it, but she definitely said it. It's the apple barrel. It's half empty, and aside from whatever fish we're able to catch, those apples are the only food we got on board. Why does the horizon have to keep rolling back and forth? Yes, yes, I know. That's the cargo hold and crew quarters down there. My bed's conveniently located right below the opening to accommodate for those refreshing saltwater showers. At every expense for the for one of two females on board a ship that does not allow females. There's the other one right up there. Uh, let's go say hi. Orb. It's a glass orb with a strange magical glow. It could be some kind of compass, I guess. Captain. It's Tun Lyak, the navigator. Hello, Tun. Are you enjoying the ride, April? I'd enjoy it a lot more if the ground wasn't moving. But the ground is not moving. The boat is. Hey, you try and tell my stomach that. How are we doing on time? With the help of your magic, we are crossing faster than I had ever thought possible. Give credit where credit is due, Lyak. This ship is the fastest there is. I can outrun a shadow ship in this old lady. When will we be on Elias? By sunset tomorrow, if the wind holds. How fast is it possible to travel by sea? I do not know. I have heard tell of a ship that once went so fast it took to the sky and disappeared. From time to time, sailors spot the ship as it floats across the heavens. It is said to be an omen. The Flying Dutchman, right? No, they call it bad luck. Oh dear. Well, let's hope we don't see that boat. I have a question about your compass. Of course. What's with the compass? What kind of compass are you using? It is just a normal spirit compass. When we are not navigating by the stars or by the sun, we use this. What's a spirit compass? I forget that you are not familiar with the sea. A spirit compass points always to the magical North Pole, and thus we may navigate according to it. It is very precise unless affected by a strong magical source. Thanks. That's all I needed to know. I hope this knowledge made you richer. I mean, I don't really have much of a way to, to check my cash card, but I doubt there's any more money on there than there was. Also, hey, Donut, how you doing? Donut, 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 Donut. <laughs> Keep her steady, Ton. I will, April. I will, April O'Neil. Channel 6 News. If that is your real name, April Ryan. It's Captain Nebeve. No, that's Captain Nebeve. Nebeve. Yeah. Want some candy? Ah, uh -uh, they're awful. Assorted candy. Colorful? No, I'm trying to offer this man some crappy candy. Okay. It's Captain Nebeve. Captain? 
Hi, what is it? How long will it take us to get to Elias? We should reach the island by tomorrow night, unless we get bad weather. Any chance of bad weather? Well, as any experienced sailor will tell you, the weather is a freakish thing, and you never know quite what to expect. But no, no chance of a storm at all, or my nose would be itching. Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of weird things about the weather, such as um, two hurricanes hitting the Maritimes in two years. It might not seem like a lot to some people, but to us, that's a lot. What does your nose have to do with the weather? Well, that's a story, be sure of that. And? That's all. It's just a story, and you'd better be sure of that. Good talk. I'd like to hear that itchy nose story. Why? Because I'm sure it's a real tall tale of the sea, filled with bravura adventures and victories snatched from the rabid jaws of certain death. I had a bad accident with my nose hair scissors, and ever since that day when the weather's acting up, my nose itches. <laughs> well... That was a good story. You gotta be careful when you trim those nose hairs. Aye. I've come to that realization on my own. So, your nose itches when the weather's bad. A deep, scarring itch, as from the filthy bowels of the Mojo. Alright then. Do you know any sea shanties? I'll be thanked. I do not know a single one. <laughs> not even a ho 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 on a dead man's casket or something like that? If I went ho 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 on a dead man's casket, girl, the crew would tie me up in the <laughs> hold. With good reason, too. Would you like to learn a sea shanty? No. Actually, there is nothing in the world I want less than to learn a sea shanty. I would rather stick my head up the arse of an Elguan who's just had a dinner rich with beans and light a torch. Man, th this guy certainly is in a mood. I feel in the mood for a shanty. And I feel in the mood for a keel hauling. Thanks, Captain. It's actually Captain. Please try to remember, and while you're at it, Cut back on the scurvy sea dog shtick, would you? Just trying to fit in, sir. You have as much chance of fitting in here as I do growing a second head, marrying myself, and moving to Coruscant to start a pottery business. Oh, and before you leave, mind you only take two apples a day from the apple barrel. We're running a little short, and aside from fish, jaw forbid, we have no other food on board. I, I almost want to start on, uh, you know, Barrett's Privateers. The problem is I, I am not familiar enough with the melody of that song to start singing it. Living in Nova Scotia, that would be kind of almost a crime to not know the song, but I'm not originally Watch. from Nova Scotia. My nose is itching. Are you sleeping on duty again? Storm front. West, heading our way. Looks like a right old bugger too. Our, our... Oh dear. Aye, by the mercy of Jaw, it's a chaos storm. Where in damnation did it come from this quickly? And what's pulling it here? Navigator, change our course. We must away from the storm front and to safe harbor. Uh oh. I just felt a cold shiver running down my spine. Oh, well, that's, uh, less than ideal. Maybe we should go below decks.
I don't look forward to another night in those. I had a dream I was on a roller coaster all night long, and I can't stand roller coasters. Also, by the way, he hey Alexander, I didn't mention you before, but hello. It's a sturdy wooden chest. It's empty. No treasure. And axe. It's a small axe. Do we get it? Oh, we get it. Also, this worm, apparently. It got away. Is this just like it's a, a time thing? Sack. Or do I need to, like, give it something? It got away! Try one more time. I look like a real sailor! Arr, Mikey! It got away! Yeah, that's... not ideal timing. Also, thank you for the reset, Zero! It's a flower sack. Would you like some candy, Mr. Worm? No? How about the sticky worm? Oh, no way. Oh, it got stuck. Yes! Got me a worm. Uh, and this is good because... Also, hello Zero, welcome home, and uh, I do what you gotta do. So we still have the wrapper, interestingly enough. It's a colorful candy wrapper. I am also very surprised that I actually, like, caught on to this. More hammocks. Also, is it just me or does, uh, or does April look really tall in this shot? Anyway, we got an axe, we got a worm, obviously we need to use the axe on the worm. No. Okay. All good try. Let's go back up. See what Tim Lai has to say now that there's What's a storm. What's going on, Tun? A storm approaches April, and it is no ordinary storm. What do you mean by no ordinary storm? Look to the clouds. Do they appear normal to you? They look strange, it's true. It is a chaos storm, a strong storm caught in a magical vortex, drawn to strong magic like bees to honey. I have never seen one with my own eyes, but I have heard stories. What have you heard about chaos storms? That they appear only rarely, and that they signify great and terrible events in the near future. It is also said that they are weapons used by the Dark Lords of Chaos to hunt and destroy those strong in the balance. Well, that's definitely us. Can we escape a Chaos Storm? If we run fast enough and reach Safe Harbor, perhaps. I have not heard of a Chaos Storm to last more than a single night, and this one is still quite a distance away. But it gains fast. I do not know, April. Will you still be able to get me to Elias tomorrow? I 
am afraid not. The captain has ordered our course changed south to get us away from the rocky waters around the islands. We are about three days away from Gien, but if the weather improves before then, perhaps he will be willing to turn about. But I would not count on it, April. He cares much for his ship and for his crew, and he would not risk it for anything or anyone. You still need my magic to get wind in your sails. The wind seems to be picking up on its own. Thus Nebeve has no need for your magic, April. I am sorry, but once we reach Gien, I am certain you will find passage to the islands. I don't have three days, Tun. The balance is failing. I am sorry. It is out of my hands. I'll let you go back to work. Thank you. All right, Cappy. Captain? Sir? Leave me be, girl. I have work to do. We must avoid the storm lest it comes on us like Jaws' callous heel and crushes us. But we're still going to lay us, right? Ha! Huh. You can forget about that. We must avoid the dangerous waters of the islands and head straight for Guyenne if we're to stand a chance of outrunning the storm. But I have to get to Elias as soon as possible. The fate of worlds depends on it. And the fate of my ship and my crew depends on us changing our course for Guyenne. Now leave me be. Well... Those are the captain's private quarters and offices. So yeah, I also, I mentioned this uh, during the uh, the pre-stream, but uh, you can change items with A and S. I can't do that while somebody's around. Interesting. So I think I've stumbled upon the correct thing to do, just that I can't do it while everyone's here. I have a question about your compass. Certainly. Won't the Chaos Storm affect the accuracy of the Spirit Compass? If the storm catches up with us, perhaps, but I do not think so. Only a very focused magical field in close proximity to the compass would be able to affect it. Thanks. That's all I needed to know. I hope this knowledge made you richer. I'll let you go back to work. Thank you. Hmm. the apple barrel. Ugh, gross! People do not toss the apples back into the barrel after yeah. eating! Here's a nice plump one. Jim? Jim? Is that supposed to be like a reference or something? Because like, I don't get it. Why is Jim in the barrel? I don't think there's anything else down here, is there? Actually, I wonder... Get to it, little guy! Eat your heart out! Aha! So now what do we do with this? K 
Captain? What is it now? Captain, the worms have invaded the apple barrel. Cursed be the balance. First the storm, now this. Is there no end to the horrors? Let me see. Jowls infected, arsehole, you be right. Those are worms, all right. Vicious, snarling wheat worms driven mad by their hunger for a change of diet. As far as I could tell, that was the only apple infected. But I could be wrong. Good of you to catch it, girl, before it spread any further. I'll have to go pluck the apples immediately. They must be saved. Okay, well, that gets rid of the captain. The, wor the worms have gone mad with power. Presumably, it still can't. Do I can't this. do that while somebody's around. Yeah. Do you want me to relieve you at the wheel for a while? I am not sure if this is such a good idea, April. What's the big deal? I just hold it straight, right? Well, I could do with a short break to stretch my legs. Fine, but I will be back soon. And if anything happens, just call out for help. Of course, thanks. And that's Tenlayak. So now, we just, uh... So if the compass was pointing in that direction when we were on course for Elias, and now it's pointing in this direction... Oh, hell. I'll just wing it. Use the Force, April. After all, who's the chosen one here? Tun, need some assistance up here. I think I may have strayed off course a bit when I was at the wheel. I did not feel the boat turning. Well, I have a feeling we're gonna miss Gien by a couple of hundred kilometers if you don't correct our course. Let me check the compass. By the balance, you are right, April. It is good you were aware of your mistake, or we might have ended up pierced on the deadly reefs of Tagate. I will correct our course immediately. Sorry about that. Oh no, I let you take the wheel. I'm just glad we are back on course. Y yeah, back on course. <clears throat> is it my imagination or is the storm getting closer? By the balance, you are right. The storm is catching up with us. We might have to ride it out. It is good we are nowhere near the islands, or we would have to worry about reefs as well. Reefs? Nobody said anything about reefs. Tun, I have something to tell you. Captain! Sir! We need you on the bridge. The storm is closing in. Get your hustle on, buddy. We got a storm. By the foul bells of Jaw, you're right, Lyak. It's closing in faster than any storm I've seen or heard, chaos or otherwise. It's like it's chasing something or someone. All right, listen up. The storm's going to hit in an hour or two, and I want everything to be ready. Tighten the hatches, strap down the cargo, wake up the watch, and by Jaw's big toe, someone put a lid on the apple barrel. Listen, Alex, man likes it up the pooper. Alright. They really should cover this up before the hold is filled with water. Also, I did see your thing about uh, Treasure Island.
I guess that makes sense if it's a literary reference that probably most people would get, but I certainly didn't because I went to, uh, to, yeah, I took French school and so I didn't actually read Treasure Island at any point. It's a sturdy wooden chest. It's empty. Is it though? Considering that I can take this, or at least interact It's a sturdy with it. wooden chest. It's empty. Well, what if I have this to say just about, get in about trouble. this? Besides, it's open. Interesting that it had special text for that. Also, I love having an easy way to check every item against something now. Very busy. Yeah, real busy looking up at the sky like that. He looks very busy. He looks very busy. Okay, she yeah. looks busy. She looks busy. Everyone's busy. Got it. Those are the captain's private quarters and offices. Donut looks very busy. Let's use the use the axe on Captain Neva Nebeve. We're captain now. I mean, we basically already hijacked this boat with the. Uh... Huh. I should take that off before anybody notices. Yoink! What is that? What is that you have there? It's a necklace I misplaced, but I found it again, so no need to worry. What was it doing next to the spirit compass? Let me see that necklace right now. It's a valuable family heirloom. I don't let anybody touch it. Give it here. This talisman has the mark of the balance and of the sentinel. This is an object of great magic. The balance be cursed, girl! What by Jarl's hideous countenance did you think you were doing? I need to get to Elias as soon as possible. Let's just be frank. So you claim. But do you know what you've done instead? You've put the lives of everyone on this boat in grave danger. With the storm upon us, the last we need is dangerous waters. Thank Jarl's assassin, we still may have time to avoid the rocks of the Briston at all. But I swear by the honor of the three biased judges of Guienne that I'll have you before a court when... if we get to land. Check the compass, Layak, and correct our course accordingly. And don't let this wench touch anything from now on, you hear? I need to place this accursed talisman as far away from the spirit compass as possible. One would think you would do that faster. She looks busy. She looks busy. Yep, still busy. Oh boy. What just happened? That doesn't sound good. Uh oh, this can't be a good thing. It's closed and locked tight with a big iron padlock. Well, game, let me ask you something. 
been a while since I chopped firewood, but I think I'll be able to knock the lock off pretty clean. Oh shit! Good job, April. What are you doing? Well, we're dead. Also, I don't think that's how ship works work. That was the entire chapter, apparently. I'm surprised at how fast we got through that. Hey, it's Crow! Thank the balance, she's all right. Are you all right, April? April? Thank Are you balance, sleeping? She's all right. Are you all right? She's sleeping, bless her little heart. Boy, is she cute. Too bad she's just a chick and not a bird. April, wake up! Crow, I was so worried I thought the storm got you. Me? <laughs> Honey, I'm the sidekick. Didn't you ever read any legends? The sidekick always survives. Oh, is that how it works? So you're fine? A few singed tail feathers, and I'm so charged up sparks fly when I try to peck something. Other than that, better than ever. The sea air does wonders for my allergies. I didn't realize you had allergies. Exactly. Do you know what happened to the crew? As far as I know, they got away in the lifeboat. There was a lifeboat? One of those magic fold-up types, yeah. I guess they forgot all about me. I think the captain said something like, Hey, let the wench drown and justice be done! <laughs> but, uh, I could have been wrong. No, that sounds about right. Any idea where the lifeboat is heading? South, I guess. From what I can remember of the old man's stories about the sea, Tagate would be the closest civilized island. Any idea how I'm gonna get to the islands now? You could swim. Humans swim, don't they? They must, or you wouldn't be here now. I don't swim. And nobody can swim that far. There's no land visible in any direction. Well, I'd suggest flying, but you don't have the necessary equipment. Why don't you try and find the closest island? I could do that, but I'd have to leave you on your own. Crow, I'll be fine. All right, all right. Don't blame a bird for trying to be a gentleman. Gentle bird, whatever. Gentle bird. I'll be back as soon as I can. Don't go anywhere. Where would I go? Girls always disappear on me. Trust me. Well... You're probably still not as bad as some people I know. Hey Foos, how you doing? I, I've uh, solved a couple of puddle, uh, puzzles remarkably fast. This is all that's left afloat of the White Dragon. I'm either the luckiest person alive or the unluckiest person about to die a slow, horrible death. What the hell is that? Uh-oh, for some reason the story of the bloodthirsty cannibal merman of the Sea of Song suddenly pops to mind. You flew back to Azoria? How are things there? Debris from the White Dragon. I'm a long way from anything. I didn't know the ocean could look so... big. Very warm. Yeah, that's the nice thing about having had a 
uh, hurricane lately is that it does tend to cool things down pretty fast. Hi, do you speak Arcadian? Guess not. Doesn't seem so bloodthirsty and cannibalistic up close, though, does it? Hmm. <laughs> there she goes again, doing the spinny. Okay, well, you can stop that now. What happened to my cool ship? It I, I I might have uh, had a slight accident. Hey, come over here and let me pet you. You're just like a seal, aren't you? <gasps> oh dear. We have been we have been seized. Oh, that's a face. Yeah, Crow is going to be upset, but uh, not like we have much of a say in this. Oh, there he is. Oh, bloody typical. I told her she didn't believe me. Girls always disappear on me. Always. I mean, if you were referring to something in particular, you could have, you know, told us. The walls look organic. And those blue things. I think they're polyps of some kind. They live inside the wall and are part of the structure. National Geographic would go nuts over stuff like this. Wait a second. This isn't quite right. What's going on here? It's a drawing of a man cutting his finger open and squeezing some blood into a bowl together with some green, mossy stuff. Then he mashes it together and... Oh, gross! He dips a black pearl in it and eats it. That's barbaric! Maybe the stories about the cannibal merman were true after all. But hey, in the next one he seems capable of speaking fluently with the creatures that brought me here. I wouldn't mind that. If it could get me the hell out of here. So what about this one? It's a drawing of a man. A human. Sticking a strange, polyp-shaped object into his mouth. Ugh! In the next drawing, he seems to be able to breathe underwater. Convenient, if somewhat radical. There's water out there. Lots of water. I'll just drown if I try to leave. Unless... There's well, fresh so oxygen on this coming one? through here. These polyps must process the oxygen in the water somehow. That's how I'm able to breathe in here. It's probably really stinky, though. It's the polyp I yanked out of the wall. Well. Oh, this is so disgusting, but I have to get out of here. Also, never mind the amount of pressure that is probably uh, existent down here. It's a big seashell.
A jewel How you doing? There's a large black pearl inside the seashell. Don't mind if I do. It's a big seashell. No, I wasn't trying to interact with the seashell. The seaweed here is so thick and tangled, it looks almost deliberate. Anything over here other than this quote unquote building? They must have built that um, house specifically for air breathing creatures like myself. You've chosen violence, don't we all? Violence in the form of ordering me to self care. Hydration achieved. It's a glowing green substance that's spread evenly across the walls, providing light and heat. Okay, so now I have the green goo. It's a glowing green substance. Yes, I get it. Okay, um, give me a second. I will do stretches. Y'all can do the stretches too. Especially you, Jewel, if you just woke up. And I don't just mean stretching one finger. And no, two fingers is not enough either. Get yourself a good stretch. Oh. There you go. Well, maybe you should. You prefer not to die. I just stretched uh, Jewel and I didn't die. I'm perfectly. Oh. Anyway. So let's go back to the breathing house. Okay, so hmm. So we need to mix Aha. If this gets infected and I have to chew off my finger to fight the gangrene, I'm suing somebody. Ouch. The things I do to save the world. Worlds. So now we have blood. I don't know what the blood is on, but it's on something. And I've always had trouble gold. swallowing pills, especially huge golden magical ones. Well, here goes nothing. <laughs> yeah, that that definitely also is a thing that happens sometimes. Understand what I'm saying? Yes, we understand. Weird. 
scared. I have this nagging feeling in the back of my mind that I shouldn't be able to understand what you're saying, but I do. You have passed the two tests of the Gatherer, Landwalker. Breathing water and speaking the tongue of the Merum. You can serve us now. Wait a minute, what? Serve you? You have been brought here to serve us as the Gatherer of Tanyan. What's Tanyan? Tanyan is life. Tanyan brings light to darkness and sustenance to our caves. Tanyan keeps the snapjaw from our children and heats us when it is cold. Tanyan is life. Where does Tanyan come from? Our gatherers collect it from the caves and shores of the islands, but there is less Tanyan to be found each season, and we need help. How does Tanyan do all those things you said? Tanyan provides warmth and light. It draws the harvest close. Harvest? The creatures of the sea that we eat, the golden tail, and the weed eye, and the sand eater. Fish? You're talking about fish. The harvest, yes. That is what we said. The harvest is drawn to the light and to the heat. But the snatch are clever. They stay away. They know the light allows us better aim with our spears. Why can't you gather Tanyan yourself? We do. But we cannot move far from our cities, or the Snapjaw will hunt us and eat us. If we travel in force, we leave our men and children without guard. And we cannot travel too close to the islands, or the winged demons may catch eye of us. They leave our gatherers alone, though, so you have nothing to fear. Who are the winged demons? Ugly, leathery creatures who defy nature to fly up there in the sky. They are evil and live to destroy our people. Don't the Snapjaw kill the gatherers? Rarely. Your meat is bitter and tough, not soft and tender like ours. I won't ask how you know that. I think I've learned enough about Tanyan for now. You have learned nothing, but your training will teach you what you need to know. Also, yeah, that that is that is kind of a creepy thing. It's like, yeah, our meat is soft and tender and sweet and juicy and moist. How do you know all of these things? And how do you know how we taste? I will say, though, April is pretty bitter, but mostly it's because the fate of two worlds is hanging on her shoulders. Are your people called the Miram? We are the Miram. Most landwalkers call us mermen, or merpeople, but the Merum is our name in truth. Who are you, man? We are the queen of the third city of the Merum, enlightened keeper of the Tanyan, protector of the light. I'm sorry, your... Your Majesty, I really had no idea you were a queen. We are just a queen. Our function is to serve the people. To light our cities, provide food for our men and children, and to protect them from the snapjaw that hunt us in the dark. So what you're saying is that you're a queen who actually does something. Very much unlike real life. Do you know where my ship went down? The vessel you foolishly travel in above the water? It rests not far from the city, just past and beyond the Landwalker's bubble where you were first brought. I think it is dead. I mean, ships aren't really alive, but if it was, then it's not anymore. Do you know the island of Alais? Yes, we know the island of Alais. Our gatherers find Tanyan there, and the Merum once had a city in the shallow waters below it. Can you bring me there? Until your training is complete, you cannot go gathering. We cannot risk losing you to the Snapjaw, or to have you desert your duties to our people. How long will my training take? Six cold oceans. Six years? 
Sure, that makes sense. Everything in this world takes ages. I've been told that you worship an old god who lives in the deep. How did you come by this forbidden knowledge? I picked it up on my way here. Could you take me to him? You? No, we cannot. Unless you are Miram, you are not even allowed to speak of our sleeping god. Well, that sucks. Alright, well, I guess uh, we're gonna just stick around here for the next six years, and uh, about three days from now, we'll be able to enjoy the world's collapsing. Thanks for your time. We will call on you soon to begin your service. Until then, you should stay inside the Landwalker's bubble and away from the dark waters where the Snapjaw lurk. It's the Queen of the Marin. I feel like the vocal effects that are happening here are more pronounced at some times than others. It's a pretty blue crystal. Like during that entire conversation, it didn't seem too bad, but like looking at things around here, it's a lot more pronounced. I'm just gonna take your crystal, ma'am. Hope you don't mind. You're communicating with your mind? Yeah, maybe. Well, let's see if we can find our, uh, oh, hi. Hey, buddy. The Snapjaw's keeping to the shadows, waiting for me to get close enough to attack. Oh, unfortunately we don't have our axe anymore, which kind of sucks. It is a leaf, bind magic. Yeah, bind magic, does that still work? No? Well, let's just try everything. Because that's a new skill that I've learned today. The snapjaw's keeping to the shadows, waiting for me to get close enough to attack. Okay, so just a giant mouth and tiny body. Love to see the concept art for this guy. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like I can use the first crystal. Yeah, let's take a look at this. It's the crystal I took from the Marion's home. So, what makes it the first it's crystal? It's the crystal I took from the Marion's That's home. My question. Also, it looks like our pile of candies is gone, too, so we probably don't need that anymore. Our diary is probably as good as wrecked. Yeah, yeah. So what if I try to use this crystal on something? fresh oxygen coming through here. Yes, we've already established this. whole this. structure looks organic, and there are polyps living inside the walls. 
It's a drawing of a man mixing some green mo It's a drawing of a man sticking a poly It's a drawing of a Yeah, we've already established that and solved those puzzles. It's a big okay. seashell. What the cat do and the cat trying to figure out what he's supposed to do next. For a minute. Yes, Gatherer. We may. I don't think anything. I'd like to learn more. Certain. Thanks. Where did you say? Just. I Thanks for my time. So we don't have access to anything else right now. So whatever we gotta do, we gotta do it with what we got. Is so thick and tangled, it looks almost deliberate. Hey, what? Why were you moving toward the uh, the seaweed when I didn't have anything to do with that item? Now, there's nothing we can do with the seaweed right now. Big seashell. All right, I I may need I may need some assistance here. What's our next step? I e either foos or zero. Back to the queen. Yeah, I guess I can ask her about the crystal. Do you need this? No. It is of no value to us. Where did you find it? It looks very old. I believe one of the children found it just outside the city. Not far from the Landwalker's bubble. Among the seaweed by the rocks. We have used it for decoration in our hall, but you are welcome to it. Consider it a gift, gatherer. Okay. Can we talk for a minute? Yes. Thanks for your time. My so, missing two interactions, so we, we did the one interaction, but what's the other one? It's the precious substance called Tan Yan. Oh. It's a spear. A harpoon, I guess it's called in maritime terminology. Leave the spear be. It belongs to the water stiller. Sorry. Can we talk for a minute? Yes. Who or what is the water stiller? There we go. The water stiller is in our prophecies. She is the land walker who will make us a people united and end all strife. So you're at war with other Marum? No. And so the time for the water stiller is still to come. We are at peace with other Marum. What else can you tell me about the water stiller? She will come among us by providence, and she will take something from us that we have kept hidden for many generations. What is it the water stiller will come to take from you? We do not know, 
but she will open up the ancient shrine and bring light to the darkness. She will destroy a snapjaw with her spear, give witness of her mission, and then she will reunite us. She sounds like a swell person. She is the water stiller. She is prophecy. Thanks for your time. My time is yours, Gatherer. Okay, so... Are we still gonna take this, can we? Leave the spear be- Sorry. Yeah. I'm guessing that we still don't have anything to interact with. Where did you find among the seaweed by among the seaweed? So over here. Here's another one of those crystals buried in the sand among the seaweed. There's an entrance to a cave back here. Judging by the amount of seaweed, it's a long time since anybody's been in there. This inscription looks like a huge pyramidic structure with an eye in the middle. It's a long spear with hooks, probably a harpoon then. It's inscribed with the image of a wave, probably representing water. Oh god, I remember this. I, I'm i not taking that as to be a good thing. This inscription looks like a fish. Duck. I don't think it's supposed to move. Interesting that there is the uh, the interaction palette that comes up here, but there's literally nothing that we can do with that. Oh. Oh. Hmm. It's the crystal I took from the Marian's home. So I'm guessing that I need four of them. And I need to arrange them in a very specific way in order to probably open this. Well, here's, a, here's one more. There's another one there. Now it's just a matter of what do I do with them?
So each crystal has three faces. Oops, that's not what I want to do. Each crystal has three faces. Those three faces... Hey, wait, no. Okay, this one has spear, water, and mountain. Spear, water, and mountain. So you put it on the other one, right? God dang it. So this has fish. Ha! Ah, keep picking the wrong thing. Fish, spear, Mountain, which means put it on water. This one has mountain, water, and fish, so you put it on spear, and the last one goes here because there's nowhere else for it to go. Am I correct? I mean, obviously the puzzle's not solved, but am I correct in what I did? No. All right, I have no idea. Okay, so. Actually, you have to match the symbol of the opposite slot. So it okay for for one thing. Is there a way to like navigate this with only information in the game? Because this seems real, just. Guess and hope. No. What kind of puzzle is this? That y'all told me that the duck puzzle was the worst one. Okay, well I have liter I have literally just been handed the answer. And I have no idea what the um
Yeah, ain't nobody got time for that. Oops. Well, there, there is the answer, I guess. If there, if there was, like, if, if I'm either being lied to or otherwise is just really obtuse, but there is a way to do it in game. I don't know what the hell it is. The crystals on the altar light up the entire cave. It looks like some kind of visual history of the Marim people. According to this first tablet... Oh my god! It turns out the Marim came to Earth inside a type of spaceship from another planet. They're aliens? Not that anything should surprise me at this point, but still. They look very different back then, though. It must have been a long time ago. Their ship looks to have been a living thing, according to these drawings. Wait a minute. Could this be their ancient god? One of the dragons? I think it has to be. After they arrived on Earth, their species divided in two. One crawled into the sea, the other onto land. What does that mean? This must be a while later, because the Marum look like they do today. At least the ones who went into the sea do. The other ones, they have wings. Hey, good night, Donut. If I'm going nice to guess, by. I'd say that the ones who went to live on land became the Alation, which means the Marum and Alation are related. In this one, they're living close to each other and in peace. And it seems they share equally in the production of Tan Yen, which attracts fish for both peoples to eat. Then something happens. Or, it looks like, and the Marum and Alation move away from each other. In this last one, Tanyan is beginning to become scarce, and the Marum are losing many of their young ones to the Snapjaw. They fear the Alation, and they forget their common heritage. At the very end, there's a prophecy, I think. The Marum and the Alation joining hands once again. When they do, Tanyan becomes plentiful and both people prosper. So the answer was on this wall, but we only get to see this wall after we've lit up the altar. And what? It's a circular indentation framed with the image of two dragons biting each other's tails, almost exactly like the markings on my talisman. So what I'm getting from this is I need to recover the talisman a bit of balance and bring it here. Because no matter what game I'm playing, I cannot escape the Ouroboros. Our big old friend is still here. Presumably I still can't do anything. I probably need the spear, but let's let's go talk to the queen and see. Like, hey. You got a prophecy. You gotta make friends with the Alations. And then there'll be plenty of te uh, ten yen for everyone. Can we talk for a minute? Yes, Gatherer. We may. Why was the cave with the altar and the wall painting just outside the city abandoned? What? Show us this cave immediately. Can do. This guy gets shunted over there, apparently. I 
I lit the cave by placing the crystal from your palace, together with three more crystals I found on the altar, and moving the stone rings into their correct positions. Somehow... Can it be that you are... But you are a gatherer. You cannot be she. You're a gatherer. I'm a gatherer because be? you say I'm a gatherer. The water stiller. She who, by prophecy, will deliver us from strife and unite us as one people. She who will uncover the ancient shrine. Looks pretty ancient to me. This is the shrine, yes. And you have brought light to the darkness as well. But the other prophecies, you have not fulfilled them. You have not proven yourself to be the water stiller yet. How can I do that? Come back with us, and we will tell you. How can I prove that I'm the water stiller? You have uncovered the ancient shrine and brought light to the darkness. But this could be just chance. You must show us the witness you carry of your mission to the balance. The talisman! Damn, I lost it when the storm hit us. You must also kill a snapjaw with a spear, and then you will have proven yourself to us. Once you have done this, we will aid you in your quest to make us one people. Who is the water stiller? She is of the prophecies. She will bring an end to strife and unite our people. Where do I begin? Take this spear and slaughter a snapjaw. This must be done to prove your strength and to prove you are of the Miram. Where do I find the snapjaw? We already if know you that. are the water stiller, you will find a way. Why are you asking such a silly question? Huh. All right, so we're just going to carry it. Then. I'm... I'm wet. Oh, whoa? April, please. This is a Twitch stream. All right, let's get to stabbing. Good fight. It's dead. I killed it. More like we approached it and it did the spinny and now it's dead for some reason. I'll need something to bring back to prove that I killed the Snapjaw. This tooth will do just fine. Oh man, that's sharp! I had no idea Snapjaw had razor teeth. If I did, better not think about that now. In a dang way, now we should be able to get the uh, talisman. There it is. Is there anything else here? Looks like no. Early 2000s game budgets, folks. Actually, was it 2000? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is from 1999. So now that we have our talisman back, can I use it on this symbol? Yes. It's a small is. niche containing what appears to be a shard of a stone. Same thing, there are worried about Y2K. It's a piece of the stone disc! Ooh. No, wait. It's oh, only yeah. one half of a piece. It looks like it's been divided in two. Strange. 
Hmm. Well, that's problematic. Y2K, finally even. Hey queen, I did the thing. Here's a tooth from the dreaded snapjaw that guarded the shipwreck. Proof of my strength and courage. You have fulfilled that part of the prophecy. If you fulfill the rest, we will acknowledge you as the water stellar. Okay. Here's proof of my mission. A magical talisman with the sign of the balance. It means that I'm the 13th guardian of the balance. You have fulfilled that part of the prophecy. I'm not the water stiller, April is. Also, I took something from you. I've taken from you the object you've kept hidden for generations. It's part of the disc that will restore the balance and save the twin the worlds from chaos. You have indeed fulfilled all but one of the prophecies. You might yet be the water stiller. We would not have thought she would come in our lifetime. Good. Then you'll take me to your sleeping god. There is but one more prophecy you must fulfill. There's more? Sure, there's always more. That's the fun part about prophecies. You must unite our people once again. But you said you were united, that there's no strife between Miram. The Water Stiller will come to bring our people together again, to unite us and save us. This has still not come to pass. Until you do so, the prophecies of the Water Stiller have not fully come to pass. Oh, I think I know now what the prophecies mean when they say your people will be reunited. The Miro are at peace with each other, yes? But you're not at peace with the Elation, the Wind Demons. They are our enemies. Right now they might be. But it wasn't always like that. Not according to the carvings in the Temple Cave. What do you mean? Once upon a time, long ago, the Miram and the Elation were one people. What? This is heresy. I'm just telling you what I saw in your temple. This was a very long time ago, and the one species soon divided in two. One sought refuge in the sea, the other on the winds. But both the Miram and the Elation were dependent on the other for various reasons, amongst them Ten Yen, which was abundant where the two people lived in close proximity to each other. Apparently, there was peace between your two people for a very long time, but then something happened, something that caused a war to break out. Both the Elation and the Miram moved far away from each other, and ever since then, your people have had a tough time finding Ten Yen. I think the only way to save the Miram from a slow death, and the elation as well, probably, is to reconcile you with your, uh, common ancestry. How can we believe you, Water Stiller? Your words are too outrageous, and the consequences, were you to be speaking the truth, are grave. If you don't believe me, check out the temple walls. The whole story has been recorded there, probably when you first came to this place. But what will our people say? What will they think when we tell them they are brothers and sisters to the winged demons? You're their queen, and so you'll have to make them understand and accept their heritage. As must the elation, I expect, and I don't think it will be any easier for them to come to terms with their history. You must go to them, then, to find if our temple speaks the truth, and if they are willing to speak with us like civilized people. I guess I must, water stiller or not. If you don't reunite with them, you will die, eventually. We will bring you to the shores of their closest island, and we will await word from you on their answer. Does this mean you believe me? You are the water stiller. You are prophecy. Hey. We will follow your directions and fulfill our destiny. 
One of our people will bring you to Aleus, a night's journey from here. Once there, you will find the Alation and speak with their leaders. If they agree to meet, then we will do so in a place of your choosing. I promise I'll do my best. Goodbye. Safe journey, Water Stellar. We will hold on to the piece of the disk you found in the temple. If the winged demons, the Alation, agree to meet us, we will bring the stone. Okie dokie. Man, these chapters are just blowing right past now. Also, the, the thing you said about the, um, the legendary booze stiller reminds me of this one time where a friend of mine just kind of texted me out of nowhere and started insisting that I was a beer pyre. I'm pretty sure he was very drunk, and I assure you, I was not. In fact, I don't think I've ever had any beer. I have had relatively small amounts of other alcohol, but, um, yeah, no beer. Could be prophecy. I, I could get lost if I just wander off into the jungle with no idea what the island looks like or where I'm heading. And you call yourself- I have never called myself a sailor a day in my life. Debris from another capsized ship. These must be dangerous waters. Hey J-Pop, thank you for the Prime resub. Let's celebrate the half anniversary. Ooh. Emerald green and clear as the morning sky. That's perfect holiday water. Okay, I don't think there's anything else to pick up around here. Alright, let's, uh, let's go up the path, I guess. The top half of the statue depicts a big-mouthed creature calling out. It's a tiny tree. Teeny tiny tree. It's a deep hole. More like a crevice, actually. Caused by some kind of seismic activity. God, it must be at least 50 meters down. The crevice widens out into a huge cave just below. And there's water at the bottom. Well, gee, I wonder how we're going to get down there. Yeah, sure enough. It's, it was quite obvious when, uh, when it was pre-rendered and now it's, uh, now it's interactable. It's like, blurry mess April over here, and all of a sudden, perfectly sharp, uh, silhouette. Big nests, once housing the elation, but now empty and in disrepair. It's a Marum City. Ooh. It's the remains of a stone structure that probably fell down here through the crevice. There's a piece amongst the rubble that looks like a bolt or a key. It's intact. Don't want to do. Thank you. 
It's the remains of a stone structure that probably fell down here through the crevice. Climb down? No, we're climbing up. Nope. Down we go again for some reason. I'm guessing that's all we needed down here. I don't really see anything else interactable. Can we take the rope back? Yes, we can. And that makes the exit disappear. It's the ruins of an old city. It's a huge volcanic mountain. Hopefully you don't blow up. Dense jungle. And then it turns out we're not on uh, Alicia, we're on... We're on Pompeii. Do 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 do. Computer arch. It's the village of the giant crabs. Hey, that sounds like a great name for a B movie. Village of the giant crabs. Perfect. You should be a movie exec. I mean, with all the material you're getting from this uh, longest journey you're having, you you got stuff for for years. It's a big statue. Some kind of giant crab. Sounds like the poor thing's in a lot of pain. Yeah, the shell does look way too tight. Maybe he's outgrown it but can't shed it. Or whatever it's called. I'll just take a shot here and ask you. Is there any chance you speak like a real language? Like, um, Arcadian or English? Nope. Okay. Now, is there some kind of magic I have to learn, or potion I have to drink, or eat, or ingest in some way to learn your language? Because that's usually how it goes. No? Too bad, although I'm glad I don't have to draw blood or swallow a stone or something. Can't help but feel that you're asking me for help, though. It's the strangest thing. After all, you're just clicking your claws, aren't you? It's not as if you're really talking, is it? Hmm. Incoming massive damage. Incrillin, I heard they make a special shampoo for that. Also, I don't know what it means to Wololo the Alations. And she was based, based on actual battles that took place in feudal Japan. So here's this giant enemy crab. Also, Dark Tower taught us beware of giant crabs. Watch your digits. Oh no, not my digits. Do not take my three or my seven. And gods help me if you take my five. Crab battle, where's my knife? Here, want some organic plastic? Buy a new, a new shell with my cash card. Oh, maybe I just need to interact with them. I can't break the shell. It's too thick and solid. Hmm. Well, let's go to the cliff. Also, it's great when everyone is messaging me in the middle of me streaming. 
Well, if we don't do anything soon, it's going to be a deceased crab. The top half of the statue depicts a creature with a big mouth calling out. The bottom part of the statue depicts a creature with large ears listening to something. Is that the Triforce? It's a triangular hole, like a keyhole. Does this fit? Sure does. Creature with large ears. It's a creature with a big mouth. Give me a second. Okay, so this key turns this dial. Okay, it turns both dials depending on where we're turning it. I'm guessing that the order that these symbols show up in is important. It's a triangular hole, like a keyhole. Okay, let me see if I can catalog this. Um, I guess I can probably write this on this. Okay, I don't know which, like, what the symbols all mean, but let me, uh, so there's this. And there is this kind of arrow looking thing. Wouldn't be surprised if these were like digits or something. <clears throat> Hydration achieved. Also, hey Zen, how you doing? do that during break because like right now I'm trying to uh, try to catalog these symbols oh and then there's a symbol that is just missing I'll put a question mark there. It's a triangular hole. Yes, like I a know keyhole. it's a triangular hole like a keyhole. Thank you. This one kind of looks like a five. It's a triangular hole like oh a Oh my goodness, please. Oh, and another one is missing great. I vaguely remember five gum. Is they still sell that? Not really buy gum all that often anymore.
Okay, so we've got nine symbols. Well, we've got the existence of nine symbols. We've got seven of those symbols written down. But there are two that are missing. The top half of the statue depicts a creature with a big mouth calling out. The bottom part of the statue depicts a creature with large ears listening to something. Remember, take the key. I usually remember things like that. Vertigo has been bad. Oh. Well, hope you're uh, hope you're convalescing An well. An old fireplace. Probably don't have anything for this fireplace, do we? We're trying to restore the balance so you came to the that that's that's pretty good actually. I can see clear to the bottom. This really is an excellent spot for fishing. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I guess he's not around. I should try again later. It's not impossible that uh, Crow has just absconded because he thinks we left him behind or something. Let's try, try it again on this screen, maybe. Oh, hey, there he is. You're alive! You're here! You're soaking wet! Where did you go? I thought you drowned. I was completely miserable. Yeah, I thought I and drowned too. And the chicks too. on this island are so prissy. They don't even care for a kiss unless you're all settled down with a nest in your own territory. <laughs> Glad to see you haven't lost the gift of the gab crow. Lady, you have no idea how limited bird Twitter can be. It's all, hi this and here I am that, all damn day long. I haven't had a decent conversation in days. Just like real well, Twitter. Well, you're making up for it now. I never know when you're going to go AWOL on me again. Also, it's called Bert X now. I don't know if you know. I had a little adventure under the sea. Oh? I didn't know humans had gills. We don't. Well, I do. I think. At least I can breathe underwater now. Cool. Not as cool as being able to fly, of course, but still. Hey, does that mean you're a mermaid? Hardly. I don't have a tail. What? Mermaid? Your student loans have been repaid? <laughs> well, how about you give me some money, Mr. Millionaire? What did you do after I saw you last? Well, it took a while, but I found land. Not this island, just a rock with a couple of trees, basically. But when I went back to tell you, you disappeared. I thought you'd gone bonkers from thirst and hunger and drown yourself or something, so I decided I'd better find solid ground myself or I'd suffer the same fate. And then I found this place. Nice, isn't it? And the best part is, there are no hunters. Only a bunch of big crabs on the east side of the island and a volcano. I'm going to walk volcano. around for a bit, Crow. I'll just stay here and preen myself, thank you very much. Fair enough. With Crow around, a girl can feel safe. <laughs> sure. Anyway, we have reunited with our fellow Crow here, who's uh, 
getting real busy on the bird Twitter, I guess. And um, seeing what we can see in this strange new world and hopefully bring the, uh, the merit and the elations together. But uh, our journey shall have to wait until after the break. So y'all can take a moment, uh, get some drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth. I know that I owe Jewel stretch, so I will be doing that. And in about 10-15 minutes, we will uh, continue our exploration of this island and um, see what we can find. As X gonna give it to you like J-Pop says. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit.